Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Indian Field. I'm Adam Bell for Charleston Sports Net, along with Sammy Hendricks. We've got the Rebels in town for a doubleheader on a beautiful afternoon here in Folkestone. 70 degrees, little breeze. Great night for some baseball, Sammy. It is. It is. You can't ask for much better weather to come out and play two high school baseball games than what we have right now. Clear skies. Field looks really, really good. Just a little bit of wind blowing, and it's looks like it's going to be a good night for baseball. It's just a great, I mean, it's beautiful weather. Easter weekend, y'all come on out. I know you're out of school or, or uh, on vacation. A lot of y'all come on out here and enjoy some baseball on uh, on Good Friday, right? Yep, that's right. Nothing better than a ballpark hot dog. All right, Coach Marchman and uh, head coach for ATCO at home plate going through the pregame instructions. Scenarios here. I'm sure they're talking about the signs and the fence. Yeah, but I mean, I don't think there's too there's too much out here to really yeah. talk about. I mean, I think it's pretty enclosed everywhere. Maybe a gap yeah. or two here and there, but it's it's pretty much where it needs to be here. We'll be with you tomorrow too. I don't. Um, I plan on making a trip up to Brantley tomorrow, so we'll be there. We'll be there for that in some capacity tomorrow. JV at ten with the Indians to follow. But region action right now coming up. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. Player introductions. That's all next. Right here on CSN. Indians baseball. We'll be right back. Liberty Automotive is located in Folkestone, Georgia at 3488 2nd Street South. They're a full service repair shop with multiple bays to handle anything from an oil change to a major repair. Call today at 912-496-0066 for more information. Justin and the staff can handle it all at Liberty. Liberty is a proud supporter of Charlton's youth. Since 2009, Southeastern Automotive Group has been buying for and selling to most of the franchise dealerships in the area. What if you were able to bypass the big dealerships with the big markups? Buy direct from the supplier. Save thousands of dollars on your next vehicle purchase. Have a trade-in? No problem. With used vehicles in such high demand, Southeastern Automotive Group has dealers ready to buy your trade. If Southeastern Automotive Group doesn't have... All right, welcome back. Here are the Rebels. And here comes the trial. Starting lineups for your Charlotte County Indians. Center field, number three, David Walters. At third, number 11, Cole Crawford. At shortstop, number 15, Jordan Hunter. At second base, number 13, Colton Cruz. vehicle for you using their vehicle locator program they will have it shipped in without any hassle or haggling you hate with over hundreds of thousands of cars available at auctions across the nation your next vehicle purchase is just a click away Pier 6 seafood and steakhouse located at 853 south 6th street in mcclenny florida steaks cooked to order seafood just right fish plates with all the fixings, hamburgers all the way, fries and more. 
Go see old Salty and tell them CSN sent you. Pier 6 Seafood and Steakhouse. Walker Jones Chevy, expansive inventory, home of the lifetime warranty, and we'll treat you like friends and good neighbors should. Chevy, together let's drive. Walker Jones Chevy, Memorial Drive in Waycross, and online at walkerjoneschevy.com. Bella Blue Photography, supporting our youth, 904-845-7776. From the office of Sheriff Robert Phillips, go Indians and go Maidens. Rolling property services, everything you see here. Welcome back to Indian Field. Sammy, Sammy just handed me the uh, records for the two squads. Now, Sammy, last week we were over here doing a ball game with us and Lanier. We were talking about Echo sitting in the second place spot. But what a difference a week makes, huh? Yeah, apparently they've had a bad week, week and a half. Um, they dropped down to, uh, as of right now, fifth place in the region behind uh, there you go. behind Charlton, Lanier, Eccles, and, of course, uh, Clinch County. Indians come in with an eight new region record. Lanier comes in. I'm not sure if they planned tonight or not. They're six and three right now. Eccles is at five and five. Clinch County is at five and six. And Atkinson County at four and five in the region. So we got about two weeks of baseball, regular season baseball yep. left. So I mean, it can still shift with these three and four game series. But uh, I mean, right now you've got Eccles has moved up to the three spots. So That's an interesting. Yep. It's going to be an interesting run toward the end with those last three spots. That's right. There's still a lot of a lot of baseball to be played. So anything can happen in the next couple of weeks. So. And even with us and us and Lanier, we now have a what a three. Three game lead. Three game lead over yeah. the Bulldogs right now. We've only got a two game series with them left, yep, right? That's right. Yeah. All right, here's Sammy Hendricks with the call. You're watching Indians Baseball on CSM. All right, leading off for the Atkinson County Rebels, beat number one, Tyquavius Williams, followed by number 21, MJ McKinnon, and number two, Jack Tillman. That's your first three here in the top of the first. On the mound for the Indians, number eight, Griffin Thomas. First pitch is swung on a foul off. We're underway. 0-1. Oh Indians going to be in their white uniforms today with the black numbers and red trim, black hats. 0-1 pitch, swung on a little flare out towards second. Hayes Johnson over to his right field, was on the first in time for out number one. Got to bring up number 21, MJ McKinnon. Defense look for the Indians, Hobbs behind the plate, Cole Crawford over at third, Brody Baker at short, Hayes Johnson at second, Colton Cruz at first. Garrett Vickers over in right. David Walters in center. And Elijah, Isaiah Baker over in left. First pitch to McKinnon's in for a strike. 0 1. Rebels are in their black uniforms with red trim. 0 1 pitch is swung on a miss. 0 2. O2 swung on hit high, better behind home plate, and it's going to drop foul. Hobbs ran into the umpire, couldn't get to it. O2 on MJ McKinnon. McKinnon playing first base for the Rebels. 0-2 pitch, hit batter. Uh, McKinnon to go to first after being hit. And that's going to bring up number two, Jack Tillman. Runner at first now with one out.
First pitch inside, one and oh. Baker and Johnson back at double play dip. 1-0 pitch. Swung on Grand Tour third. Cole Fields on the second for one. On the first in time for the double play. So the double play gets the Indians out of the Indian here in the top of the first. Go to the bottom half. No score. We'll be back right after this. Plus eviction cleanouts. Call Bo Williams at 904-583-4572. Family-owned Valancourt Construction established in 1945. Valancourt is constantly seeking out new markets and opportunities as well as state-of-the-art construction technology. We consider this vital in order to provide value for our customers, career opportunities for our employees, and a bright future for our organization. Valancourt is a proud sponsor of the Charlton Sports Network. It's hot outside, so come cool down at the Chill Zone. Pick from among our many delicious flavors. We specialize in snow cones, but we have such a wide variety of items on our menu, you can satisfy just about any craving at the Chill Zone. The Chill Zone is mobile, so wherever you may find yourself with the need to keep your cool, just look for that bright yellow Chill Zone mobile and come cool down at the Chill Zone. Welcome back to Indian Field. Sammy, who do we have leading off, man? Leading off for the Indians will be number three, David Walters. Walters will be followed by Cole Crawford and Colton Cruz. That's your first three. Rest of the lineup. Banner fourth, Griffin Thomas, then Eli Hobbs, Hayes Johnson, Garrett Vickers, Isaiah Baker, and Chase Roden. On the mound for the Rebels be number two, Jack Tillman. Rest of the defense for the Rebels in left field, Ladarian Roberts in center field, Tyquavius Williams. In right field, Jay Zion Williams. At third, Bryce Clements. At shortstop, Joby Meeks. At second base, Gavin Smith. First base, number 21, MJ McKinnon. And behind the plate, number three, Tyler Smith. Tillman has finished his warm-up tosses. Right here. Test, one, two. You lose it? Test one, two. Test. Test one two. Yep. Test. Nothing. Well, you're talking. Test one two. One two three. How about now? Test one two. Well, you're talking. They're hearing okay. you. First pitch to Walters. Breaking ball in for a strike. Oh one. How about now? Test one two. One and one, Got all it. Walters. All right. One run pitch outside, two and one. Two and pitch, swung on, hit foul. Two and two. Might be time to break that new one out of the out the new sound system out of the uh, trailer and learn that thing. Yeah. This one might be <laughs> getting ready to give up the ghost. <laughs> two two pitch hit out to a short fielder there by Meeks on the first inning ball gets by the first baseman and Walters will be safe. Meeks got to it plenty of time, made a good strong throw, but just a little bit too far for McKinnon to reach out and get, and Walters is at first. To be a throwing error on Meeks. Now to bring up number 11, Cole Crawford. Mm. 
Walters going, pitch is low, 1-0, oh, throw down the second, not in time. To Cole, yes, ground river toward third, but foul. I guess they called that first pitch a strike. I thought it was low, but it's 0-2 according to the scoreboard. <laughs> 0-2 on the Indians' third baseman. O2 pitch. Swung on hit high out here toward the left center. Left fielder going back. And that ball's off the fence. And that's out of here. That's going to be a two run homer for Cole Crawford. And the Indians will take a two to nothing lead here in the bottom of the first. It's hard to see down that left side over there. So when it hits the fence, it's hard to tell if it's on that home run marker or if it's off the fence. But that one's out of here. Two to nothing Indians here in the bottom of the first. We just talked about the sign on the fence right before the game. Yep. And that's going to bring up Colton Cruz. Colton swings, hits one high, out right behind second. Second base from Smith going back, and this is going to drop. It's a little bloop single by for Cruz. He'll be there now with nobody out. Got to bring up number eight, Griffin Thomas. First pitch of Griffin is in the dirt. Want to know? One oh pitch inside. Almost got him. Two and oh. Two a pitch, Grand River toward second. Fielder there by Smith. He'll go to first with it and get the out of first. One down. Colton will move up to second on the play. He'll be there now with one out. Now for the Indians, number 16, Eli Hobbs. Curve in for a strike. Good breaking ball there by Tillman. Open one on Hobbs. That one piece. So I'm going to hit out down toward the left. Foul. So 0 and 2 on Eli. A two pitch. Curve stayed a little high. One and two. <clears throat> One two pitch. Swung on a miss. Strike three. The 
Two down. It's going to bring in number 29, Hayes Johnson. Curve in for a strike. Oh, one. Well, he has that pitch working right now, don't he? Yeah. I think it's nasty. Oh, one. Low and outside. One and one. Good pitch there. One one to Hayes. High. And he gets by the catcher. And Colton's going to move over to third. He'll be there now with two outs. Two and one on the Indian second baseman. Two one pitch. Here it is. High. Three and one. Threw on pitch. Fouled off. Three and two. Three and two pitch. Here it is. Curve stayed low. Ball four. So a two out walk by Hayes Johnson. Give the Indians runners at first and third now with. Garrett Vickers coming to the plate. Hayes at first, Colton at third. Johnson's going from first, pitches inside, throw down to second. Oh, now Hayes is going to stop and go back. The play, score's going to run, uh, runs going to score at the plate. And they're going to get Hayes out in the rundown, but the run does score on the play. So three runs, two of them on a big two run homer by Cole Crawford. We'll go to the top of the second, end his lead at three to nothing. Run count. We'll be back right after this. UFP Folkston, the number one site-built construction plan in Georgia, is now hiring for multiple departments. We've been around since 2016, and we're located in, you guessed it, Folkston, Georgia. Around here, we're more than just co-workers. We're like family, and we're part of an international family of companies with a long history of promoting from within. So if you like to work hard and get rewarded for it, this is the place for you. Check out our openings at ufpi.com careers. In your time of need, give Rob Robertson a call at 912-496-7388. Shepherd Robertson Funeral Home says go Indians. ESP Specialist of Fabrication is located at 169 Little Field. Welcome back to Indian Field. Indians up three to nothing. Top of the second. Next 
I'm back. Got 0 and 2 on the batter. Jovi Meeks, number 11. Now batting for the Rebels. 0 and 2 on him. O2 pitch. A little bit low. Just missed. 1 and 2. Hey, we're honoring the. Uh, 2014 team today, too, aren't we? I think so. Between the two games, I believe. One, two pitch. In the dirt, two and two. Two, two pitch, yeah. Right over behind shortstop. Baker in. Oh, makes a great running catch on his belly. So, great defense out there by the Indians and Isaiah Baker. For out number one. Let her bring out number 14, Gavin Smith. First pitch 10 being for a strike. Oh, one. Grounder out towards short. Baker in, and he can't come up with it. Slow roller out towards short. Brody, Brody came in and fielded it, but he couldn't handle it and get the throw off. So that will be an infield single for Smith. I'm going to bring up number three, Tyler Smith. Let a slow roll out toward the mound. Griffin fields the second for one on the first. In time for a double play. So the Indians turn their second double play of the game and get out of the inning. With some more great defense, we'll go to the bottom of the second. Three to nothing, Indians lead it. We'll be back right after this. You're watching Indians baseball on CSN. Fried in Buxton, Georgia. President Mark Pickering and his employees utilize the latest technology with a skilled workforce to supply customers with the best custom fabrication possible. Serving clients at home and abroad makes ESP a premier employer in Charlton County. For all your specialty and fabrication needs, contact ESP at 912-496-2583 today. They're also on Facebook at ESP Specialist Fabrication. ESP is a proud sponsor of Charlton Sportsnet. We'll treat you like good friends and neighbors should at the home of the lifetime warranty, Walker Jones Chevrolet. Memorial Drive in Waycross and online at walkerjoneschevy.com. Chevy, together let's drive. Walker Jones Chevrolet. Charlton Electric, serving Charlton and surrounding counties with over 20 years experience in both commercial and residential services. Our electricians can meet your needs. We offer installation on whole house generators, service upgrades for mobile home services, troubleshooting, ceiling fan and light fixtures, and much more. Call us today for an estimate, 912-496-4528. Fried in Buxton, Georgia. Buxton Auto Supply is a proud sponsor of Charlton. Welcome back to India Field, bottom of the second. India's lead, three to nothing. Sammy. Bye. Leading all for the Indians. Here in the bottom of the second, being number 21, Garrett Vickers. Vickers was at the plate back when the rundown gave the Indians a run in, back in the bottom of the first. So he'll start the bottom of the second off. Garrett, Isaiah, and Chase, first three for the Indians. The Indians lead a three to nothing here in the bottom of the second. First 
First pitch, curve in the dirt, 1-0. One o pitch in for a strike. One o one. One one pitch, a little outside. Two and one. Two one in there, three one. I think they do that to me on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> three one pitch swung on a bounce over toward third, but foul. Three, two. Call strike three. Struck him out. Wow. One down. And that's going to bring in number five, Isaiah Baker. First pitch to Isaiah, it's outside. One of those low, two and oh. pitch right down the middle three and one some more games around the region tonight double header over in turner county lanier at turner and double header clinch at Eccles. both of those are playing double headers not as well isaiah swings and hits on the hair torn center we hits the back about six steps and makes the catch round number one a christian at number two Well, two down, that's going to bring good number 15, Chase Roden. First pitch to Chase, curve outside, 1-0. One oh pitch. Foul off at the play. One on one. One on one pitch. Curve in for a strike. One and two. <laughs> One, two, low, two and two. Two pitch, curve, rim for a strike, stroke him out. Got a high strike call there. We're at number three, so nothing doing for the Indians here in the second. We'll go to the top of the third. Indians still lead a three to nothing. We'll be back. We'll be right back. Please remember to shop local and support the folks that support your youth. 
Dolphin Sports. For all of your auto and big truck needs, go by and see Sammy and his staff today. They have everything from lawnmower blades to parts for big rigs and heavy equipment. CarQuest Folkston Auto Supply is located at 4439 2nd Street in Folkston, Georgia. For all of your parts and accessories, it's CarQuest Folkston. Go Indians! For nearly 20 years, Georgia's electric membership cooperatives have made Friday night football electrifying. As the official energy provider of the GHSA, Georgia's EMCs are proud to support high school athletics in the communities we serve. Standing behind every hike, every completed pass, and every team celebration. Because we know that today's high school athletes are tomorrow's local leaders. Georgia's EMCs. Welcome back to Indian Fields, Sammy. Right, leading all for the Rebels. Number 23, Brandon Vining, DH. First pitch to him is high and inside. One to know. Griffin Thomas stood on the mound for the Indians. One oh pitch. Swan a miss. One to one. One and two. One two pitch swung on hit high out toward the left field. Baker's over toward the foul territory. And can't make the catch. They say that's gonna be a fair ball. So Vining will be at first. That'll bring good. number twenty, Bryce Clement. The first close player running back. First pitch to Clement is inside one and oh. So Darian Roberts on deck for the Rebels. One over pitch, hit a high over toward the first base dugout. Colton over, takes a look at it, makes the catch for round number one. That'll bring up number zero, Ladarian Roberts. So... Vining it first now with one out. First pitch to Roberts. Outside, 1 0. I think. I never saw a sign, but they put one strike up on the scoreboard. Swing and a miss. Roberts hits one over to a third, fielded by Cole in the air, throw back to first, and they get another double play. So more good defense for the Indians here in the third. They're going to turn their third double play of the game. So nothing doing. We've got a bottom of the third. Still three to nothing Indians. If I'm not mistaken, we've turned a double play to close out three innings straight. Yep. We'll be right back. Allen Aldridge Insurance, located in Kingsland, Georgia, is proud to serve the communities of Charlton and Kendham Counties, offering life, home, car, and business insurance, 
See Andy Galwin today for your insurance needs. Phone 912-729-7600 for more information. Protecting you is what we do. Galwin Aldridge Insurance is a proud sponsor of the Charlton Sports Network. Four Seasons Floral, located at 4415 2nd Street North in Folkestone, Georgia, has all of your floral needs covered, from Valentine's to birthdays and weddings to life celebrations, proms, special occasions, or just to say you love that someone special. We deliver as well. Call 912-496-7043 and we'll assist you with any floral need at Four Seasons Floral. Liberty Automotive is located in Folkestone, Georgia at 3488 2nd Street South. We're a full service repair shop with multiple bays to handle anything from an oil change to a major repair. Call today at 912-496-0066 for more information. Justin and the staff can handle it all at Liberty. Liberty is a proud supporter of Charlton's youth. Welcome back to Indian Field. Bottom of the third, Indians lead three to nothing. Sammy? Odd leading off for the Indians here in the third will be number nine, Brody, uh, no, top of the order, David Walters. David Reese on the air and score back in the first. First pitch to him is granted right back to the pitcher. Tillman, take a couple steps to first. Tall server for out number one. One pitch, one out here in the third. As my buddy Grover Roden would say, efficient. <laughs> That'll bring up number 11, Cole Crawford. Cole hit a two-run homer back in the first. To get the score and start it for the Indians. First pitch to him. Curve in for a strike. Another curve in for a strike. 0 and 2. So the Indians starting to get a healthy diet of breaking balls from Tillman. 0-2 pitch in the dirt. 1-2. and two. Have, you no have you noticed what he's doing when he gets the two strikes on you? Have you, have, you no did you have you noticed what the pitcher's doing when he gets two strikes on you? He quick pitches them. 1-2 just outside, 2-2. Two and two. Comes back real quick with that third yep. pitch. Mm -hmm. 2 2 to Cole. Here it is. So we're going to hit hard down to the left side, but foul. They were ducking over there. Another 2-2 two -two pitch to Cole. Here it is. So we're going to hit hard down the third baseline again. Foul. Cole set back and waited good on that breaking ball. But pulled it foul. Two-two. Two. That got him. So Cole will be at first after being hit by the pitch. Got to bring up number 13, Colton Cruz. Colton singled and scored back in the first himself. So runner first now, one out. First pitch, he swung on, hit down the left side, foul. Oh, 
Good one, Pitts. Ah, one on one. Big lead by Cole Herbert first. Throw over that way, he gets back safely. One one pitch outside two and one. Two one pitch runner going. Pitch is low. Throw down the second and safe. So a stolen base for Cole. Three and one on Cruz at the plate. Three and one pitch. High ball four. So first and second now with one out. That's going to bring up Griffin Thomas. Griffin grounded out to the second baseman back in the first. First pitch to Griffin. Runners going. Pitch is high. Throw down the third. Save a third. And Colton will move up to second on the play. So second and third now with one out. And Smith will call time and come out and talk with Tillman. Short meeting has concluded. Smith back behind the plate. Want to know, do Griffin Thomas, runner at second and third, one out. 1-0 pitch. Kerr stayed high. 2-0. Oh, now they're going to change the scoreboard and make it 1-1. One one. So the first low pitch must have been a strike. Griffin swings and hits one at the middle. That's going to get through for a hit. Cole scores. Colton's going to go to third, and he'll hold there. So one out single and an RBI for Griffin Thomas. Give the Indians a 4 to nothing lead. Now to bring up number 16, Eli Hobbs. Eli struck out back in the first. Tillman takes a look at Griffin over at first. Fist to Eli. High, 1-0. Runner going, pitch is caught a strike, I believe. Colton to the plate, throw it back there, and he's safe. So a stolen base for Griffin, Christian, the Griffin, and Cruz scores on the play. And 
2 and 0 on Eli Hobbs. Throw back to second. Oh, close play. Woo. Good move there by Tillman. I thought he had him. Kind of surprised that goes Coach A coming Yeah, that was, that was a close. Yeah, I think he is. Down. Yeah, that was a that was a bang. I think he may have got him. He's going to take you a slow walk out and speak with the base umpire. I think he has a good argument here from out here of what I just saw. That, you know, the base on price said his arm got in and he missed a tag on him. But either way, a good move by Tillman. Two and oh, Eli. Two will pitch in for a strike. Two and one. Two one pitch curve in for a strike. Two and two. Man, that thing is nasty. Slow. That's one of them slow curves. Yeah. It looks like it's gonna hit him in the head and it yep. drops right in there. Pissed Eli. Swung on here. High over. Behind the home plate. Out of play. Play about a second again, and Griffin's back safe. Runner going, pitch to Eli, swung on a miss. For strike three. Two down. Griffith will be a third now. I'm going to bring uh, number 29, Hayes Johnson. Hayes Walt back in the first. First pitch to Hayes in for a strike. For all you Braves fans listening, top of the eighth over in Philadelphia, Atlanta to Philadelphia to. Hayes swings and hits one foul over behind the first base dugout. 0 and 2. Griffin's going to go to the plate, and they're going to uh, miss. No, he got a tag on him for round number three. But the Indians get two runs here in the third. Go to the top of the fourth. Indians lead at five to nothing. We'll be back right after this. Since 2009, Southeastern Automotive Group has been buying for and selling to most of the franchise dealerships in the area. What if you were able to bypass the big dealerships with the big markups? Buy uh, direct from the supplier. Save thousands of dollars on your next vehicle purchase. Have a trade-in? No problem. With used vehicles in such high demand, Southeastern Automotive Group has dealers ready to buy your trade. If Southeastern Automotive Group doesn't have the perfect vehicle for you, using their vehicle locator program, they will have it shipped in without any hassle or haggling you hate. With over hundreds of thousands of cars available at auctions across the nation, your next vehicle purchase is just a click away.
Pier 6 Seafood and Steakhouse, located at 853 South 6th Street in McClenny, Florida. Steaks cooked to order, seafood just right, fish plates with all the fixings, hamburgers all the way, fries and more. Go see old Salty and tell them CSN sent you. Pier 6 Seafood and Steakhouse. Walker Jones Chevy, expansive inventory, home of the lifetime warranty, and we'll treat you like friends and good neighbors should. Chevy, together let's drive. Walker Jones Chevy, Memorial Drive in Waycross, and online at walkerjoneschevy.com. Welcome back. Indians up five to nothing, Sammy. All right, leading off the fourth for the Rebels. Be number one, Tyquavius Williams. Williams grounded out to the second baseman to lead the game off back in the first. First pitch to him in for a strike. Oh, one. Oh, one pitch, a little check swing. Griffin's going to run over, grab it, toss over to Colton at first for out number one. So one down, that'll bring up number 21, M.J. McKinnon. McKinnon was hit by a pitch back in the first and was a part of the first double play of the game by the Indians. First pitch to McKinnon is outside, 1-0. Foul at the plate. One on one. Jack Tillman on deck for the Rebels. And home paid umpire is going to give McKinnon a second. He got that and hit that one right off the top of his foot, I believe. One one pitch over toward third. That's foul. One two high two and two. Two to the McKinnon. Here it is. Curve in for a strike. Got him looking. Good pitch by Griffin. For round number two. And that'll bring up number two, Jack Tillman. Tillman grounded out to the second baseman back in the first. First pitch to Tillman's low. Tillman swings and fouls one off. Still now one and one. Call strike. One and two. One two pitch, swung on a miss, strike three, struck him out. So three up and three down for the Rebels here in the fourth. We go to the bottom half, still five to nothing Indians. Shop local, support the folks that support your kids. We'll be right back. 
Bella Blue Photography, supporting our youth, 904-845-7776. From the office of Sheriff Robert Phillips, go Indians and go Maidens. Rolling Property Services, everything you see here, plus eviction cleanouts. Call Bo Williams at 904-583-4572. Family owned Valancourt Construction, established in 1945. Valancourt is constantly seeking out new markets and opportunities as well as state-of-the-art construction technology. We consider this vital in order to provide value for our customers, career opportunities for our employees, and a bright future for our organization. Valancourt is a proud sponsor of the Charlton Sports Network. It's hot outside, so come cool down at the Chill Zone. Pick from among our many delicious flavors. We specialize in snow cones, but we have such a wide variety of items on our menu, you can satisfy just about any craving at the Chill Zone. The Chill Zone is mobile, so wherever you may find yourself with the need to keep your cool, just look for that bright yellow Chill Zone mobile and come cool down at the Chill Zone. UFP Folkston, the number one site-built construction plan in Georgia, is now hiring for multiple departments. We've been around since 2016, and we're located in, you guessed it, Folkston, Georgia. Around here, we're more than just co-workers. We're like family, and we're part of an international family of companies with a long history of promoting from within. So if you like to work hard and get rewarded for it, this is the place for you. Check out our openings at ufpi.com careers. In your time of need, give Rob Robertson a call at 912-496-7388. Shepherd Robertson Funeral Home says, Go Indian. Welcome back, Sammy. Uh, leading off for the Indians will be Hayes Johnson, followed by Garrett Vickers and Isaiah Baker. First pitch to Hayes outside. Hayes was at the plate back in the third when Griffin was tagged out of the plate for out number three. In his lead of five to nothing. One over to Hayes. In for a strike, one and one. Have you ever heard of such? This is one and two. High, two and two. Score update from Philadelphia in the top of the eighth. Atlanta three, Philadelphia two. Three one pushing, that got him. And stung a little bit, it looks like. So the second hit batter in the game by Tillman. I'll put the hustling Hayes Johnson at first base. I'll bring up number 21, Garrett Vickers. Garrett struck out back in the second. What's that? First pitch to Garrett. This one going to hit. Over the third, fielder there by Clements on the second. The Pulls him off the bag, so everybody's going to be safe. Now Hayes is going to go to third. I don't know what he's doing there, but he's going to be tagged out. I can only think Hayes may have thought the ball must have rolled out in the outfit or something to come to third. But he'll get tagged out for out number one. So one down, that'll bring up number five, Isaiah Baker. Isaiah flew out to center back in the second. Vickers at first, throw over, he's back safe. Or 
first pitch. Called strike. Number nine, Connor Hall throwing over in the bullpen for the Rebels. Pissed Isaiah. Breaking ball in for a strike. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you, you see, you see that, that slow floater coming here? You better be swinging there. If you let it look at it, the umpire's going to call it. 0 2 to the first runner back save. That's, that's his signature pitch. Throw it at first again. And Vickers is back safe. Pits to the plate. Isaiah chops one over toward third, but foul. Oh and two on the Indians left fielder. One out, Vickers at first. Third of first, runner back safe. Pitch. Swung on hit foul. Still 0 and two. Swinging the miss, throw to first, and Vickers is back safe. The two down. So I'll bring up number 15, Chase Roden. Chase struck out back in the second. And he's got the cheese chant going on over in the dugout. First pitch to Chase is outside, 1-0. Oh. One oh pitch, swung on, hit foul. 1-1. One one. One one, runner going, so we're gonna hit towards short all perfect hit and run. Garrett's gonna round second and go to third. And they're gonna hold him there. So a perfect hit and run execution by Chase Roden. It's gonna give the Indians runners at first and third now with two outs. Meeks was going over to cover the back a second, and Chase hit it right in the hole that he vacated. And we're gonna have a Timeout call, and probably have a pitching change here by the Rebels. Must be a pitch count thing, because I, I, I think he's been doing a pretty good job. Yeah, he's it. not bad, yeah. I mean, there's only, what, two teams all season that kept us under double digits? Mm -hmm. Looking over in the Indians dugout, former athletic director, Jesse J-Rock Cruz in the house.
Pitching change for the Rebels will be number nine, Connor Hall, will come in a pitch now here in the fourth. Score, rate, score update from Philadelphia. Still in the top of the eighth. Braves five, Phillies two. In the season opener for both teams. All right, Hall has finished his warm-up tosses. The Indians got runners at first and third with two outs. Roden at first, Vickers at third. And it's going to get us back to the top of the order. Number three, David Walters. David reached on the air and scored in the first and granted back to the pitcher in the third. First pitch to Walters outside, 1 0. Oh. 1 0 pitch. Swung on a miss. 1 1. And he's tried to add it at five nothing lead here in the fifth. A question the fourth. Two on. One one pitch, stayed high, two and one. Two one pitch, swung a miss. Two and two. Two two pitch runner going. Hall's gonna step off for the second. They're gonna have Roden in the rundown. Vickers gonna go to the plate and he's gonna be safe and Roden will be safe at second. So again, that play that the Indians use several times a game. Works again to get a run across here in the fourth. Sometimes Sammy it's just not fair. <laughs> Two two on David Walters. Two two pitches hit foul. Still two and two. Two two pitch outside. Three and two. What amazes me is everybody knows we do it. It's not like it's a secret. Yeah. And we, we still get away with it. Three, two. Call strike three. Struck him out. The Indians leave one, but we get one across here in the fourth. Go to the top of the fifth. Indian six, Rebels zero. We'll be back right after this. You're watching Indians baseball on CLCN. The USP Specialist of Fabrication is located at 169 Little Phoebe Church Road in Buxton, Georgia. President Mark Pickering and his employees utilize the latest technology with a skilled workforce to supply customers with the best custom fabrication possible. 
serving clients at home and abroad and ESP at Premier Employer in Charlton County. For all your specialty and fabrication needs, contact ESP at 912-496-2583 today. They're also on Facebook at ESP Specialist Fabrication. ESP is a proud sponsor of Charlton Sportsnet. We'll treat you like good friends and neighbors should at the home of the lifetime warranty, Walker Jones Chevrolet. Memorial Drive in Waycross and online at walkerjoneschevy.com. Chevy, together let's drive. Walker Jones Chevrolet. Charlton Electric, serving Charlton and surrounding counties with over 20 years experience in both commercial and residential services. Our electricians can meet your needs. We offer installation on wholesale. <laughs> Welcome back. You're watching Indians baseball. They're up six to nothing right now over the Rebels. Sammy? All right, leading off the fifth for the Rebels will be number 11, Joby Meeks, followed by Gavin Smith and Tyler Smith. Meeks flew out to the left in his only plate appearance back in the second. Griffin Thomas still on the heel for the Indians. First pitch one on, hit right back up the middle. Brody over to the left, Fields on the first, low throw. That's going to pull Colton off the bag. And Mix will be safe there at first. So good job by Brody Baker of getting to the ball. And he got up quick, but low throw pulled Colton Cruz off the bag. I'm going to score that a hit. Gavin Smith, number 14, out the plate. He was part of a double play in the second inning. Swung on hit in the left field. Back-to-back so -back singles for the Rebels, give them, give them runners at first and second now with nobody out. Now to bring up number three, Tyler Smith. First pitch is swung on, hit high. Right over by shortstop. That's going to be an infield fly rule. Baker makes the catch for out number one. And with that out, that'll bring in number 23, Brandon Vining, the DH. He grounded out to no question, he single back in the third inning. Crazy, that's going to be number 12, Lolly, pinch hitting. For Vining. So first and second now, one out. First to him, grounded over towards second. Hayes Fields goes to second, gets the out there, and not in time for the out of first. So to get a runner second, throw not in time to get a runner at first, and on the play, Meeks will move over to third. And Lolly will be at first. So first and third now with two outs. That'll bring up number 20, Bryce Clements. First pitch to Clements is swung on a miss. A one pitch in for a strike. Two, oh, two. Oh, two pitch. Swung on here high down the left side. Foul. Clements hit it well, but foul. 
Score update from Philadelphia. Still in the top of the eighth. Atlanta nine, Philadelphia two. Oh, two to Clement. Here it is. Swung and a miss. For round number three. So the Rebels going to leave two here in the fifth. We got to the bottom half. Indians still lead at six to nothing. We'll be back right after this. Generators, service upgrades for mobile home services, troubleshooting, ceiling fan and light fixtures, and much more. Call us today for an estimate, 912-496-4528. West Buxton Auto Supply is a proud sponsor of Charlton Sports. For all of your auto and big truck needs, go by and see Sammy and his staff today. They have everything from lawnmower blades to parts for big rigs and heavy equipment. Park West Buxton Auto Supply is located at 4439 Second Street in Buxton, Georgia. For all of your parts and accessories, it's Park West Buxton. Go Indians! For nearly 20 years, Georgia's electric membership cooperatives have made Friday night football electrifying. As the official energy provider of the GHSA, Georgia's EMCs are proud to support high school athletics in the communities we serve. Standing behind every hike, every completed pass, and every team celebration. Because we know that today's high school athletes are tomorrow's local leaders. Georgia's EMCs. Allen Aldridge Insurance, located in Kingsland, Georgia, is proud to serve the communities of Charlton and Camden Counties, offering life, home, car, and business insurance. See Andy Gowan today for your insurance needs. Phone 912. Welcome back to Indian Field. Your tribe are up six to nothing over the Rebels. Sir? Leading off will be number 11, Cole Crawford, followed by Colton Cruz and Griffin Thomas. Cole, Homer back in the first. And was hit by a pitch and scored in the third. First pitch to him. Breaking ball in for a strike. 0-1. Oh, one pitch. Stayed high. 1-1. One one. Another change for the Rebels. They made back when they made the pitching change. Number two. Tillman move from the mound. He'll be at shortstop now. There go. One more pitch. High and inside. 2 1. Three and one. The room pit swung high right here towards center field. Center field of Williams going back, and that ball's out of here. So Cole Crawford with his second home run of the game. Now to stand in the end of lead now, 7 to nothing. That one hit the production trailer, Sammy. A long solo homer by Cole Crawford. Trying to bring in number 13, Colton Cruz. First pitch to him is called strike 0 1. I'm sorry, I got my foot all tangled up. <laughs> Colton swings and this one to right center. And that's going to get everybody over everybody's head. Bounced up against the fence. Colton round first. He'll go into second with a stand-up double. Up 
going all wrapped up in that thing. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't knock a hole in it, but it hit the roof. So Cruz at second now with nobody out. That's going to bring up Griffin Thomas. First pitch, Tim is outside. Griffin granted out in the first and singled back in the third and was eventually thrown out at the plate. One oh pitch, high and inside, two and oh. Two oh pitch hit over towards short. That's gonna get through for a hit. Colton will move over to third, now hold him there. And Griffin will be at first with his second hit of the game. So first and third now with nobody out. And that's going to bring Hobbs to the plate. Eli's been to the plate twice and struck out twice. 0 for 2. First pitch to Eli has swung on and fouled off. Over and one. Hey, Over one pitch. Low. One and one. Runner going, throw down the second. It's going to be cut off. Colton's going to go to the plate. No throw, and he'll be in there safely. And Griffin will go into second. So another run scores here in the inning. Eight to nothing now. Indians lead it. We got two one. I think I think that's what it is. Pretty sure. Pitch to Eli, swung on and fouled back. Two-two. Two-two pitch. There you go. No, outside. Three and two. <clears throat> Three two pitch in for a strike. Struck him out. So third strikeout for Eli in the game. It'll be out number one. We're going to be 29, Hayes Johnson. Hayes walked in the first and was hit by a pitch in the fourth inning. Hey, swings and hits one foul. Everybody on deck circle for the Indians. <clears throat> Thomas is second. Who won the Hayes? A little high, one and one. I see old J Rock over there in the dugout. One and one pitch. Inside, two and one. Oh, 
And that got him. So the second time in the game now, Hayes has been hit by a pitch. And we're going to have a timeout called by the Rebels coach. I think we'll have another pitch and change. Another pitch and change. Outline red numbers are hard to read, aren't they? Yep. On those black jerseys. Number 11, Jovi Meeks will come on the pitch for the Rebels. Thumbs up. We'll be right back. Seven two nine seventy six hundred for more information. Protecting you is what we do. Gallon Aldridge Insurance is a proud sponsor of the Charlton Sports Network. Four Seasons Floral, located at forty four fifteen Second Street North in Folkston, Georgia has all of your floral needs covered from Valentine's to birthdays and weddings to life celebrations, prom, special occasions, or just to say you love that someone special. We deliver as well. Call 912 right, Welcome back to Indian Field. Indians up. Eight to nothing. Runners at first and second. Sammy? All right. Coming up for the Indians will be number 21, Garrett Vickers. Indians got runners at first and second now with one out. Jovi Meeks on the heel for the Rebels. Garrett struck out in the second and reached on the field of choice and scored back in the fourth. <clears throat> First pitch, high, 1-0. Big hole between short and third right now. If Gary can hit one there. One of pitch in first drive. One of one. Go to the bottom of the ninth in Philadelphia. Atlanta nine, Philadelphia two. Gary swings and hits one high over by the first base dugout. McKinnon over and makes the catch for round number two. Number two down, that'll bring up number five, Isaiah Baker. Baker flew out the center in the second and struck out in the fourth. Mr. Baker is high, 1-0. 2 and 0. Three and oh. Three oh pitch is high and outside. That's ball four. And that's going to load them up for the Indians. And 
It's going to bring uh, number 15, Cheese Roden. Roden struck out in the second and singled back in the fourth. First pitch is swung on and hit down the left side. Foul. The chase hit it hard, but pulled it a little bit too much. Hit a foul. Well, that might have been a walk off right there. I would not want on Chase Roden. Here it is. High and inside, one and one. Baker at first, Johnson at second, and Thomas at third. One and one pitch. Low and outside, two and one. Two one pitch, swung on and hit foul. Two and two. Two two to road, and here it is. Swing and a miss, struck him out. So the Indians will strand three here in the fifth, but they get two in. Including a solo home run by Cole Crawford. Go to the top of the sixth. In this lead at eight to nothing. We'll be right back after this. Shop local. Support the folks that support your youth. Tell them CSN sent you. Six seven zero four three, and we'll assist you with any floral need at Four Seasons Floral. Liberty Automotive is located in Folkestone, Georgia at 3488 2nd Street South. We're a full service repair shop with multiple bays to handle anything from an oil change to a major repair. Call today at 912-496-0066 for more information. Justin and the staff can handle it all at Liberty. Liberty is a proud supporter of Charlton's youth. Since 2009, Southeastern Automotive Group has been buying for and selling to most of the franchise dealerships in the area. What if you were able to bypass the big dealerships with the big markups? Buy direct from the supplier. Save thousands of dollars on your next vehicle purchase. Have a trade-in? No problem. With used vehicles in such high demand, Southeastern Automotive Group has dealers ready to buy your trade. If Southeastern Automotive Group doesn't have the perfect vehicle for you, using their vehicle locator program, they will have it shipped in without any hassle or haggling you hate. With over hundreds of thousands of cars available at auctions across the nation, your next vehicle purchase is just a click away. Welcome back, Sammy. All right, leading off the six for the Rebels will be number zero. Darian Roberts. And new pitcher on the mound for the Indians will be number six, Brantley Nettles. Roberts, Williams, and McKinnon, the first three. First pitch is swung on a miss. Right, it's going to be a pinch hitter. I apologize. That's Carmichael. Hitting for Roberts. Swing and a miss.
Williams grounds one's back to the pitcher. Fielded by Nettles over the first for round number two. Two down. Bring out number 21, MJ McKinnon. How many pitchers are of ours are seniors this year? Just one? one. No, no, two. 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 McKinnon swings and misses, 0-1. One pitch, foul off at the plate, 0-2. Oh One and two. Two pitch, here it is. Swung on and popped up to the pitcher. Nettles makes the catch. We're at number three. So nothing doing for the Rebels in the six. We go to the bottom half. And they still lead at eight to nothing. Seafood and Steakhouse, located at 853 South 6th Street in McClenny, Florida. Steaks cooked to order, seafood just right, fish plates with all the fixings, hamburgers all the way, fries and more. Go see old Salty and tell them CSN sent you. Pier 6 Seafood and Steakhouse. Walker Jones Chevy, expansive inventory, home of the lifetime warranty, and we'll treat you like friends and good neighbors should. Chevy, together let's drive. Walker Jones Chevy, Memorial Drive in Waycross, and online at walkerjoneschevy.com. Bella Blue Photography, supporting our youth, 904-845-7776. From the office of Sheriff Robert Phillips, go Indians and go Maidens. Rolling Property Services. Welcome back to Indian Field. Your tribe's up eight to nothing, bottom of the six. Sammy? Leading off for the Indians will be top of the order. David Walters, Cole Crawford, and Colton Cruz. Walters reached on the air and scored in the first, grounded out to the pitcher in the third, and struck out in the fourth. First pitch and first strike, 0-1. Ah, one and one. One one pitch. Swung on a foul off it. To the catcher's mitt. One and two. One, two, outside, two and two. For your Braves fans, final score in Philadelphia, Atlanta, nine, Philadelphia, 30. So the Braves win season opener against the Phillies. A little bit outside.
on two pitch. Chopped over by third. That's going to get through for a hit. <clears throat> Davis going to round first. Take a look at it. He's going to go to second. Throw there is going to be late. Now he's going to round second. Oh, thought about going to third, but he'll stop there and go back to the bag. So a routine single turned into a double by Walters with the hustle. Got your glove ready. That'll bring up the hottest batter in the park, number 11, Cole Crawford. Cole is hit a two-run homer in the first, was hit by a pitch and scored in the third, hit a solo homer back in the fifth. First pitch to him is high, 1-0. Walters is going from second. Pitch is called a strike. Throw down a third. Safe, a third. Swing and a miss. Cole was looking for a home run number three right there. He was swinging for your truck <laughs> yeah. that time. Yeah. <laughs> Just to go low. Two and two. Two two pitch, it is low ball three. I got ball four here, huh? Three two. Huh? Three and two. Oh, three two. You caught yep. one of those a strike? Well, okay then. <laughs> three two pitch is low, ball four. So first and second now with nobody out. I'm going to bring up number 13, Colton Cruz. Jacob Thickpen will come on and run for Crawford at first. Colton two for two. He singled and scored in the first. Walton scored in the third, and Dobbin scored in the fifth. Man, they had a whole paragraph on that signal, didn't they? Yeah. Pitch to Colton low. Think Pan's gonna go from first. He'll be at second now. Pitch to Colton is low. Load them up. Ball four. New picture on the mound, Sammy. Can't see that number. I got a 
put some eyes on. Don't like get these red numbers blend right in them black uniforms. It's going to be number 14. It'll come on the pitch. Gavin Smith. Sammy, we're back. Bases loaded, no outs. Given Smith on the mound for the Rebels. Brantley Nettles will come to the plate for the first time. To the plate. Save at the plate. So Walter still is on, making nine to nothing. The nettles high. One and one. Big pin at second. Cruise at first. Nettle swings and hits one down the right side. That's going to be down for a hit. Big pin around third. He'll go to the plate. And he'll score. And that should be the ball game. And it will be with your final score here in the 6-10 in Charlton County 10, Axon County 0. All right, Sammy, you got a post-game yep. wrap-up? Right here, Sammy Hendricks. He's ready to go, man. All right, for the Rebels, no runs on four hits and one error. No runs, four hits and one error. Question, two errors. No runs, four hits and two errors. For the Indians... Ten runs on nine hits and one error. Ten runs, nine hits, one error. Winning pitcher is number eight, Griffin Thomas. Losing pitcher, number two, Jack Tillman. In his win at 10 to nothing. You got it? All right, thank you all for watching. We'll see you in a half hour with game two of our doubleheader. Indians and Rebels coming up next. <laughs> 